you. And I've got two returning guests with me, Mr. David Noel, my brother Brian Lunsford. How y'all doing? Good, 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 my brother. Glad to be back. Well, and good evening. Dave, you uh, said that uh, you're dealing with some thunderstorms and hot weather down there in southwest Georgia, aren't you? Yeah, it, it's been rather cool and nice, but today, boy, the humidity went up. It got to about 90, almost 98 degrees down here, and uh, but now the thunderstorms are really building around here. It looks like summertime, actually. It is. <laughs> Dog days. I know it's summer here. There's no doubt about that. We could actually use some rain after having flooding all spring. Uh, it's It's been pretty dry, dry here for the past. And, you know, we had a bunch of days there in a row where it's just blue skies. Man, it's been a long time since I've had back-to-back -back blue sky days. So that was nice. But, you know, somebody had made a comment like, well, you know, they haven't been spraying a whole lot. And, I was thinking, man, if they did, could you imagine that heat they would trap in? It'd be 130 degrees outside. It's been Agreed. hot. Yeah. I've noticed with the spraying that, you know, I'm, I'm want to go out in the middle of the night and early in the morning. And I've noticed that, uh, well, it's been about a week ago now because the moon's, you know, we're almost in a new moon or tonight is new moon, I think, maybe. Yes, the um, super so black moon. Oh, God, you know, can we, have, can we all worry about, you know, the catastrophic ending of the planet again? You know, come on. <laughs> Man, I, I was talking to somebody earlier today, and it's like, they've got a name for everything now. And, and you notice how they call it the black super moon, but making that negative connotation to it, you know, they've got to bring that negative frequency, that negative vibe. Yeah, Dave, nuts. Dave and I were talking about that earlier today, how everything is categorized and slotted and put into a box and separated it just it's almost like the words themselves divide things when all it is is a frequency you know it's a yeah i mean they like I said, they've got to put something negative on us to keep us in a low vibration well one of the things these these poor folk are so convinced that the end of the world you know is coming and they don't look at it in like our perspective. I think the end of the world's already here. The veil's being lifted. You know, the, the big change is on, you know, and uh, whether or not, uh, you know, the chemtrails are real or not anymore. Um, or, aerosol you know, injections. Thank you, aerosol, atmospheric <laughs> aerosol injections. They post that up under every video you make. That's one of the new guidelines, <laughs> though, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, that's right, and I do mean to call it what it is, stratospheric aerosol injection. But to the point, though, um, even those have changed. You know, uh, I've noticed that you know, when you saw one of those things that curled out and spread out, now they're holding together and, like, traveling across the sky. It, Something's changed, and they've got I don't those, know what it is, but some changed. of those that rapidly disperse, like it just spreads out as soon as it get. I mean, it, they've got it down to a science, dude. Yep. I really, uh, I like the little white orbs that come in and out or zipping through everything. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. But there are, I want to say, I believe that there are craft that are not from here that are spraying an uh, an opposite. They're Palladian, I believe, and they are releasing. You'll see them. The, the, they look like planes, then they don't. And then they're bright and shiny, like they're pushing into a higher frequency. And they've got oh, trails I've seen a video out. where you, you could actually see a disc-shaped UFO laying out a chemtrail. Yeah. I think they're reversing. Oh, aerosol effects. injection. <laughs> aerosol, sorry. Yes, Thank you. Aerosol, aerosol injection. But they're, they're working on the opposite of that so i believe we have help i think it's us in the future helping us in the past but that's just me <laughs> i mean it's all interconnected anyway that's right yep so well let's see who we got with us so far we got scratch how you doing scratch brandon brad mcmurray that's my old fraternity brother miss lyndall davison jill jarrett joe breaking Lee. dawn deborah smith how you doing Maverick George, Jana, J. Charmstrong, Crystal McCarthy, Jana. Chloe, how you doing? And there's uh, Mr. Kent Nichols, Warrior 777777. And Michelle Cannon Free, how you doing? Deborah Sloan, how you doing, hon? 
Let's see, Jolie, good to see you. And there's Miss Elsie Darlin. She's going to a yard sale tomorrow, a flea market, that's what it is. Oh yeah, she was actually asking about you, Brian. Who? Elsie Darlin. Really? Yeah, she was concerned about you. Why? You should watch some of her videos, I don't know. Well, you have to ask her that. Go watch okay. some of her videos. I will. <laughs> and respond. There's Miss Brandy Robinson in Silver Skies. How you doing? So uh, I figured tonight, you know, I'm kind of really going to jump all over the place, to be honest with you. But I want to talk a little bit about truth and, you know, what does that mean to you? You know, because there's a lot of terminology thrown around and there's a lot of lack of understanding when it comes to that terminology. So, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of avenues that we can kind of cover with that. And uh, I think between the three of us, we can kind of hit it from at least a, a few angles. So we'll see what we got going on. Uh, Dave, I know you, you did a show the other night and uh, I'd watched some of it and you wanted to talk about a few things about that, which basically would kind of summarize a good, you know, good point from it because you're talking about one of the, uh, the term illusion or, you know, reality. What does that mean to you? Uh, would you like to start us off with that? Sure. And the, the big thing that, and we have all been discussing this, Brian and I spoke earlier and just before the show as well. Um, we have to be careful with the words that we're using because we're misusing words and we should be careful because words have frequency. And if we, we may think we're using a word correctly because we heard it somewhere and we're repeating it, but we need to stop and just be careful. I'm not trying to say, well, you know, you're wrong about how you feel. That's not my point is that there are people using terminology. If you stop and think about it and I got somebody brought it up in another chat. So that's why I did that sec a, a, a video just about illusion, but Think about this, you know, those of us who have been told for many years that we're delusional because of the way we think. So let's think, let's bring that possibility into the conversation. And if Deborah is breaking dawns and, you know, this is for you, hon, because we were talking about this the other day about the disillusionment of things. So what's happening right now, many people are being disillusioned because what they see has been an illusion to them. It's been fake. They're seeing the fakeness. Now, I, um, I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible, but I think it's important that you have a, a base understanding. Creator never, um, has never, tr God, creator, source. Does That's not make, something I'm going to get into here in a little bit. Yeah, uh, that source has never created an illusion. The closest source makes an illusion is a, um, a, a, a rainbow, but you can walk into a rainbow at a waterfall. So, you, you know, even as a Native American or as a Native person, you could understand it's magical, but it's not necessarily mystical because you, want, you could understand that it happens around water. So that that becomes a reality then, even though it's spiritual and kind of neat, but um, if, you, if you never had science, you could still be able to understand it from a shaman's point of view. Now, with that said, um, people have created illusions, not from creator, not from source. So you have to look at in your own spiritual life, what truly is an illusion? Because as many of us keep saying, you can have to keep going into the self. So you have to look at what has disillusioned you, what may be an illusion that why, that's why you're disillusioned. But some folks think that the enti our entire reality is an illusion, and I, I beg to differ there. It's more dreamlike because it has happened past, present, future. I can go out and touch a car, touch a tree. These things are real to me but what people present them to me is the illusion. So understand that there, there is truth in that. So when you see that, oh my God, for every illusion, there is a magician. And as a, an amateur magician myself back in the day, you learn how to do uh, flip a coin between your fingers behind your hand. So you hold up your hand and the, and, and the coin is gone. 
to the people watching you, that's an illusion. It, to the person doing it, it's a trick. So be mm. careful when you, you're being tricked about the illusion. So uh, people just need to stop and look at the root word that they're using and go, wait a minute, am I using that right? Because those frequencies are important. And one of the things we were discussing before we came on about catastrophic and the black moon and blah, 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 and all this kind of stuff. It's people, if you, the more you repeat something, you can manifest it. Yes. And that's where I think truth comes in. What do you truly want to manifest? See how I segued into this? But it, so we have to look at the basic things we need, not what we want, and seek the truth in that and manifest that rather than using terminology and things and, and God and source and, you know, and I'm going to turn that over, but you understand where I'm coming from. That's just to kind of get this pushed in a direction. Yeah. I did that this week with, um, I started thinking about, I, I text Brian about this cause I, I started thinking about the archons and what that, parasitic type of thing is doing and how how it's affecting me and i just i realized it with a thought and thinking about it speaking it and speaking it i was manifesting it i started going into a state of uh, de depression sort of getting tired wanted to lay down and then as i'm laying down i'm thinking i've manifested this i've created this so i i jumped up i went outside started spraying the lawn with water and and just filling it up with light and I verbally said that's enough I push it off I don't have to believe in that I can let it go and I can love through it and that it was instant it was just like well I mean, that shows you, I mean you, whatever your thoughts are that's what you're actually projecting out you know subconsciously mm -hmm. yeah and sometimes consciously because if you're angry and you keep going and you don't stop yourself, or like you said, Brian, you said, hang on, I don't want no more of this. I'm going to change my point of view. That's, that's how I worked with uh, um, mentally handicapped and physically handicapped children. And, and there was a term, instead of trying to say they were wrong, you said, Dude, let's look at a different point of view. This is how you see it. But maybe, you know, there's something else that only you can understand, but we're going to look for it. So, but with that said, that you pointed it out, though, I think it's important that people understand that the more you project something, the more it becomes a reality. It's the same thing with a smile. Just a simple, yeah. you're just depressed, you're like, just smile anyway. It was a fake it till you make it. That's one of the, <laughs> I love that because it will change. You can change the direction of it always. You just well, have to decide to. Regardless of the situation, though, if your intent is to smile and you're not actually faking it, I want to because I want to support your thought about that. But but truly, I mean, I realized I worked with 780 people in two plants. I was in charge of a bunch of stuff way back in the day when I was an engineer. And I realized during this, the more I had to deal with all of these people damn near daily because I was always out on the floor and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, but the point was, is that. I had to understand all of them as a group, but also individually. So this person over here liked a little bit of an off color joke. You know, this person over here was very religious. This person over here, you know, and, but as a group, I realized I had to change how I looked from their point of view. Mm -hmm. A lot of, uh, a big, so I mother... smiled honestly is what I was trying to get to. Right. It's a lot of, uh, and that, I've talked about this before where you um, like tolerance for others, others and their beliefs. You know, when you, you get, you get some people will say, you're going to hell for this. You know, everything you're doing is going to hell. There's not a lot of tolerance with that, but we have to keep it to where we're tolerant of everything because, yep. because it would just, that frequency will just bind us down. It will hold us down and keep us from growing spiritually. For always looking and judging and and that frequency would just keep you down. It's good to take that box and just throw it away and let everybody have an opinion. You know, that's how they keep us separated. Let me can I add a 10 cent to that, please? Yeah. Sometimes people are searching so hard, they're caught up in the search. And I've seen some people over the last several years, God bless them, 
and I've talked about it, it seems like some folks are going in a loop. Yeah. Didn't you cover yeah. This? You're, you're talking about exactly what I was going to talk about tonight. Imagine that, you know, on the same <laughs> Because that's exactly <laughs> right. People brother. get so enthralled in this just, I call it noise. And, and like you said, you're just sitting there spinning your wheels, and that drives me nuts. I mean, you, you can do all this research, but you, to be honest with you, and you know, that's where I, how I started off with all this, but it, it, you're basically straying off your path. You need to stay focused on the true path. Keep it simple, silly. Enlightenment, <laughs> because all that other shit is just noise. It, it is, yeah. and you do. I noticed, the, I noticed the pattern, even with myself. I'd go in patterns. I'd circle back around. I'd get frustrated. I mean, this is two years ago. I remember looking up and cussing those chemtrails, cussing <laughs> them, going, you yes. I'm guilty. I, oh, and, me too. And it bounced back on me tenfold. And it yeah. put me in a depression. And then I'd pull myself out of it. You know, I'd get back to the seeing the UFO. Oh, I'm doing better. And then it was a pattern I was in. And I was stuck in a loop. And that's where we got to start getting in the car backwards <laughs> and changing things up. About the aerosol stuff, I kept looking at it, cussing at it, and a Native American shaman friend of mine um, spoke words years ago. And he said, you know, if we've all come to the decision that cussing it is bad energy. So we're going to send love up there and say, creator, change those clouds to things of good. Boom, allow the universe, <laughs> allow Mother Nature to, to change it, you know. And I was like, as much as I want to, I still shake my fist, but I put a prayer in there instead. Sit Absolutely. Back, I mean, create it's a all heart. about individuals doing the same thing. You frustrated about those clouds? Look up at one, pick one out, dissolve it with love. Just sit there and stare at it. Give it your full attention and dissolve it with that frequency of love. It will go away. Whether you want to believe it or not, I've done it again and again and again and again. I've actually been experimenting with the winds and things, just so to say. It's one of the things I'm working with Karen with. That's awesome. <laughs> Everybody's going to have a different talent. You know? your mind, dude. It oh. really is. It's, remember when I was telling you about that experience I had when I was sitting outside and and the wind was blowing real hard, uh, but it was really hot outside and I was meditating. And then all of a sudden the wind quit blowing and all these crickets and stuff were just noises. crap. Everything just went silent. And I just started bawling when I was sitting there meditating. Like it was just this connection with nature. Like, man, it, that was one of the most beautiful experiences. It happened, it happened right? last night, B. I was out looking up and I'm in the place I'm looking, you see this shoot over and all of a sudden the crickets the frogs they just shut up yeah <laughs> and then i thought let's start up again and they just start tripping back up man it's that kind of and you always sit there and you go back into that old programming when stuff like that happens you said that's, well, that's it's just a coincidence <laughs> that's how connected you are with everything though like you actually I, I really did have that moment with nature man i mean i truly believe that with every fiber of my being that will bliss you out <laughs> every yeah. time every and time. see and i'm thankful for that um for you because um one of the things i wanted to discuss was like you know for every time you have a a really truly spiritual event happen like you just had it was a small event but it was a big deal so yeah. you cannot explain what happened it was so good it was this and it was that you know but the thing is is like had could you have thought you would have that experience yesterday you know, or, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? so it's like so when we when we have these experiences we have to understand oh boy there's more to come mm -hmm. so for every time you think yeah, i got it nah there's another one waiting for you if you allow it talk, when talk that's about like anytime your mind slips to like oh i can't do it yes you can mm -hmm. believe you can and uh, you can you'll figure out a way i promise you time okay. shuts down and you get lost you get that present you get you lost in the moment and you're right there <laughs> i love it you know what the you know what the original virus on this planet has been especially in the last three four hundred maybe even a thousand years fear mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. and we have fear of everything we have uh, we're afraid of allowing our, ourselves to 
go or accept, you know, you go, well, I don't know if this is the right thing. Well, but if it feels good and you, there's no harm and, you know, and you're attentive, then go for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dave, you know, I've never talked to you about this. Do you know anything like he's not a good example because he, he was he was he was a strange individual, but very intriguing. You know, anything about Jim Baker? Have you ever seen that documentary, The The Source Family? Jim Baker. Which one? He's that one that started. It's basically everything that we study. You know, he, he ended up being a, a quasi guru sort of type. And, oh, is he the guy where everybody took the Kool Aid? Uh, no, he actually died. <laughs> he hang glided and we you know, never had any experience or anything. Went to the top of a Hawaiian volcano and hang glided and ended up crashing and dying a few days later. Are you talking about Jim and Tammy Baker? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, okay. Jim Baker. <laughs> Well, the, I'm, I'm that, I, we're kind of, you know, which Jim Baker, I guess. Yeah, you know? I have to look at Like I said, he ended up being a quasi-guru, and he was married to 13 women, and he had uh, the source man. family is what they were called. They ended up uh, doing a lot of uh, even, like, uh, albums and stuff. They had, like, 30-something albums, and it's some crazy music. But, like, I mean, he, he totally, would, you know, went into the – the whole Aleister Crowley, all that, you know. Is this like in the 70s, 60s, 70s? Yeah. Was it, it was a documentary. I recall yeah. seeing it. And the daughter was the one kind of explaining Oh, yeah, Jim it. Jones, Jim Jones. Oh, okay. <laughs> then, it, then, I, then it is the same one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Oh, is it? Wow. They went down south and a bunch of them. No, no, no. That it, it's not. The, okay. No, I'm, yeah, I think Francisco, it was Jim what? Baker. But no, because this, it didn't end up like, that's what I thought it was going to be. But this one, they just ended up disbanding. There's still some here and still some there. And, yeah, that do and, the, these different... and the guy was like, in the, at the end of the documentary, the guy was like borrowing money from his son. Is, am I thinking of the same one? Probably not, man. Uh, they in San Francisco? This guy was loaded, I guess. Hell, he drove Rolls Royces and everything. Well, I'll look it up. It was in San Francisco. They ended up in Hawaii. Okay. I think I know who you're talking about now. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I highly recommend it. It's called The Source Family. Like, very interesting. I mean, it'll definitely keep your attention because they, they talk about a lot of the spirituality. But he started getting into the, the darker magic, like I said, when he started hanging out with Aleister Crowley and all that. And so that's kind of where he went. But still, it's a, you know, like I said, the starting out with enlightenment, it's a beautiful thing. And I think that's one of the best terminologies you can really call it is the source because that's like, you know, this whole God and all that. But even I, with that, you know, we're, I don't, I don't, we're think, I don't think our God or whatever, I don't think it is that it's just the energy. There, there is not this godlike figure up there. It, that, that's not what it is. It's the collective, but it's not yes. high minded. It is consciousness itself in a group thought the entire universe bingo two circles with the in the middle kind of every time i think of it that's what i think of i even can i kind of i compare or my marriage to that too <laughs> i'm one circle my wife is another circle and we're combined and we create that that center that merkaba or what, what would you call it again the center it's the well, it looks like a womb. I mean, it's just the creative force. And I always, when we get into it about this or that, which all marriages have fun doing, I, I, I always say, instead of paying attention, well, not paying attention, but instead of just focusing on you, why don't we focus on the center, the stuff that brings us together and always feed that. And that truly has helped my marriage, especially in the past couple of years. You know? <laughs> <laughs> In the beginning, she just thought I went off the deep six until she saw the UFO and it made everything better again. Thank you so much for doing that, guys. Appreciate that. But, um, yeah, it's the center. The thing that brings it all together. I don't know. That's I, it, My other thought is, is uh, God's got to be a woman. Just has to be. Dave, I think you brought those storms here, man. It is freaking thundering like I'll get out outside. <laughs> yeah, but I'm way south of you, dude. But yeah, well, that's where it's kind of in a line, though, up and down, you know, latitude. Yeah. Usually, if we have storms come from the south or the east, they're pretty bad. And that's it's coming from the south. So I'd say this will be a humdinger. 
<laughs> yeah, that's where ours have been moving in tonight. It, it's been fun watching the storms high up in the clouds. Is it coming down this way? No, it's they're just building moving. down here. I think it's coming off the Atlantic. We're getting sort of a oh, south okay. uh, easter breeze here, and it creates thunderstorms in the in the summer. Well, in the winter time too. <laughs> Boy, this weather has just changed so drastically. <laughs> it's so different. Even in the past it's couple of years. It's only going to get worse. Oh, I know it. I'm ripping. I got my surfboard in the garage. <laughs> I got my kayaks and canoe. I got stuff, you know. I stay packed and ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll be good for a while. But, uh, you know, I figure you can hold down the fort for a little bit. I think it'll be important to be mobile. I just, I'm, I don't spend, i be honest with you, I don't spend a lot of time on that thought. I mean, no, not at all. You no, know, and they're, that's something else they're trying to push now with this. Uh, have you seen where they're going to do that global catastrophe alert test or something? Hmm. No, I missed that one. Oh yeah, it's coming up. So see, now they're trying. They're going to go fully global on us. Well, we'll just have to switch the timeline and make something else happen. Yeah. That's how I see it. We'll, have to, we'll have to shut that one down. <laughs> well, as part of, as part of our free will, we have, and Brian, you were talking about this before. Um, we we have the free will to accept or reject it. That's right. You know, and if we see something coming we don't like, then we need to all reject it. You know, at at least in thought. You know, what would um, happen if know. we all came together and just decided and put our minds on healing the ocean? Boom. You know, well, you know, that's like I was talking about before the show, Th this whole, you know, we don't, I don't know if a lot of people realize the caliber of this movement, this movement, this spiritual movement, because Dave, did you hear where the, the Marianne Williamson, that one democratic presidential debate, she was even talking last night that she was channeling during that debate <laughs> and that there was dark psychic forces at work here. No, I missed that one. I did too. I don't have to go back. It's the last oh. night, dude, it's the news. She was the most searched person in 49 states today after that debate last night on Google. What's your name again? Marianne Williamson, I think. Okay. Sure. Marianne, okay. Yep. I'll have to check that out. So, I mean, and, and all of a sudden she gained a lot of popularity. So it makes you kind of wonder a little bit too. But yeah, I mean, she's straight up, that's, part of her campaign, I reckon, is talk about spirituality and channeling and everything like that. Well, you know, disinformation is always part of the illusion, you know, and, but whether or not it's disinformation or not, she may absolutely be sincere. I'm not, you know, this isn't about that. But even we, we have to understand, too, that folks who, who are fragile in, in understanding about their spirit may be sideswiped if they don't st that's why i keep you know harping about stay connected to your own don't go fishing around somewhere ask your spirit guide about something don't go looking for that spirit nah, 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 nah. Right. So, but, um, because people are getting sideswiped and even just a little bit where they think the information is true i mean sometimes i have to sit on something for a month before i'll talk about it yeah. you know because no, i'm the same way yeah. You know what I, I mean? I, I, so you guys, you guys get it, but there are other people who are kind of new at this, and they, you know, they get a, a good hit, and then something else comes in behind it when that might not necessarily be. I, I used to stick my foot in my mouth all the time. That's why I learned my lesson, because I would, I'd come out and sit, talk about one thing that was fresh to me, and then a couple of days days later that would evolve, and then I would totally, you know be beyond that point where that was totally just moot <laughs> you know but to the point though you have shown people how you have grown as we all are still growing i keep saying shaman and you know training i won't discount that <laughs> and uh, what, I'll Ryan, ask you a question you may have some insight on this david maverick george in the chats was saying that a 13 month calendar would change everything what's your uh What's your opinion on that? I don't know if, if a 13 month calendar would change anything because um, it's, it's a construct of us. So it's what we decide. 
And if we decide that this is all an AI matrix, then there you go. I choose to stay on the natural matrix side. Sure. You know, um, artificial intelligence is that it. It's just that. It's artificial. So look at the words that you're using. You know, so do I want to be pumped? become part of something that's artificial no when i know nature is so powerful like you just described yourself brian um what happened to you the other day so look how powerful nature is why would i want to subscribe to anything else you know it's funny right when you started talking about being in the matrix and artificial intelligence stuff you got all robo for a second and then it mm -hmm. cleared up when you quit talking about it <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this shit up no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. It is. That's it's hilarious. not like we're. It's not like we're our higher self sitting back with an Xbox controller, kind of moving us around. This, My higher right. self's an asshole. I'll just go ahead and tell you. <laughs> <laughs> What's your screen name? <laughs> hmm. Anyway, as that stuff was trying to explain it to to my uh, eight year old. <laughs> that's the only analogy I can come up with. He's like, so I'm playing myself. I said, yeah, you can look at it that way, but it's definitely more natural. You know, it's, you look at these trees, which I believe exist in a higher frequency. Um, also when you're looking at nature, I always, I always try and examine it from a standpoint of what does this look like in its higher version? You know, because that particular a squirrel, a bird, you know, a bird comes in and starts singing for you, or the crickets. What, what do, what do I look like? It is my. I always try and imagine what do I look like as my higher version. What is that bird really? You know, these trees have got to exist in multiple levels. It's just mm. another way that I look at things. I mean, it's, there's there's yep. a lot of beauty in that. To your point about the trees and the Killarney photography that was done way back when, um, and I've discussed it with people, it, when you do a true um, meditation with a tree, if you allow yourself to, uh, you know, combine your energy with the tree, they, it'll take your spirit right up into the leaves. Yeah. And you can feel, it, it's a, a tree, all, any kind of tree is an antenna. Mm -hmm. Native, Native folk believe that, uh, pine type trees or um, 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 evergreens are more connected to spirit. Hmm. So, you know, they're trees, all connected to spirit. Yes, but that there is a higher connection because they are evergreen. And there's a story about that. I can't remember it now, but to the it's point. It's more antenna-like too. Pardon? It's more, the evergreens are more antenna-like too. But they're constant. They don't go into, they don't go to sleep. That's what makes them different. Is that why they, they don't grow their hair long too? Either. Yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah. I'm thinking I, about cutting mine. I thought about growing mine out for the, just for that reason, but summer hit and I decided to just go short. That's why I didn't cut mine yet. My beard's a super soaker, so I get all I need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, growing out this way. Yep. But to, to the thing of the 13 calendars and everything, um, if, if you really look at, at the position of our planet, that would suggest that the entire planet has moved further away from the sun, which takes it longer to make the same round. And otherwise, if, if it's 13 and we're going to change the months and whatever, however that works out, I think it would, it would uh, do us a disfavor because then that's something else we've got to freaking believe in. Is that truly part of another illusion? And I'm saying... You know, from a Native American point of view, oh, look, sun, low in sky, winter come, you know? Oh, look, sun over time. I mean, you know, um, how many moons, you know? Not necessarily how many days, hours, seconds, milliseconds. And people are looking at time. Look at it from a Native American's point of view, especially in the old days, you know, Indian time. Oh my God. Well, I'll be there. I'll be there on Thursday. It might be 1159, but they'll be there on Thursday. <laughs> right. How do, you, how do you guys feel about the solar simulator? I, you know, when uh, Wayne has done talking with the planets, you know, the sun has said that it's dim, it's darker right now to where it, and so I believe there's a lot of artificiality 
and technology in our skies. I mean a ton. I'm, I've, I've seen it. You can see it in the clouds. There's you so know, many different I, shades. I, I don't doubt that there's that technology at all because trust me, I used to be a sun, big sun simulator guy. But man, I'm telling you, like I've seen the real sun through cameras, telescopes, and all that. So I mean, and and with sunspots or without, you know, there there haven't been a sunspot in a while or in the solar minimum. But you know, I've seen. I put out a video the other day where you can actually see a small sunspot on the uh, on the sun. You know, I think it's perception for everybody. It's just you know, it's like the flat flat earthers. You know, for them, I believe that Earth is flat. If you believe that there is a sun simulator in your reality, there is a sun simulator. Boom, shakalaka. Can I blow y'all's mind? Do it. Please. <laughs> I have not discussed this before because it seemed like it was like higher level information, but I have seen this too many times. Let's see if I go robotic. But, and I've seen <laughs> things, satellites, Lasco and Cora to kind of make me want to believe that maybe this is true. Now I can't prove this worth a squat, okay? But here it is. They have shown me this image of three very, very, very large craft in our solar system. And the one is at a point and then the other two are like this. And they pivot around so that when different energies are coming in, we're not getting smacked as bad as we really could be. They're acting like a capacitor and discharging the energy. So think of a boat, if you will, but it doesn't just stay like this. Sometimes it rotates all the way around, depending on where the energy is coming from. But now, can I prove any of this? Not a flip. But you know, I've seen those spheres, you know, with my own eyes on those Soho images that are sucking the energy from the sun. And I mean, these are large spheres. <laughs> Oh, baby, I believe well, you, But you don't really see that. the spear. You just see the, the, the void. You do see an outline. Yeah. Did you find like, it? Like you I said, it's video. like it's a black hole or something. It's a void. Did right. you see that video that I did? Have you looked at it yet with the crystal ball looking through with the refractions? I have to look in a very small sliver of that reflection and that fre to get that frequency to be able to see the things that are up there. And all I saw were just a craft. You know, if I dig it up a step further, it's just, man, there's, I believe there are cities up there. Cities. Well, you know, I'm going to be having Rocker Chick on Sunday night, and supposedly she's got a, a lot of videos and pictures of, of sky ships and stuff like that. Oh, good. That's, I, I believe it. I mean, you know, these geometric shapes in these clouds, these, uh, these beings that you see in these clouds, when you see, you see these faces and they're looking back and they're reacting, they're doing things. You just have to spend enough time sitting there looking up. And the, the perception of the camera is something completely different than what our eyes are picking up. So when you take it through both, through the camera's eyes and through yours, you, dude, the, the geometric shapes are just off the chart. We well, you know that's like a, I do a lot of those sky videos and I do the time lapse and I, I you know, here, especially uh, last year, I, I had halos more days than not. Now it hasn't been as bad this year, but you know, I've still seen quite a few days with my own naked eye. Now, but the camera will pick up those halos even when my naked eye can't. Do you guys remember what the sun was doing? It would create that point like a B here and then it would go down and then to the side i have not seen that in a, in months and I've, i i've got my tv set up to where it goes through all my pictures when it's not being watched and mm -hmm. i was noticing a lot of those pictures it's, they've changed into those halos or double halos or double rainbows but that v that used to come off the top has yeah. it's gone away yeah i, I haven't, haven't seen it in a long time so it's changes a constant state of flux. Well, I think that is the the strength of the the uh, magnetics coming through. I think is and what a bunch of other stuff. Huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What'd you I say, Dave? I didn't mean to cut you off. I thought no, no, no. I kind of thought you had a pause and and a bunch of other stuff. You know. Yeah. It's all of the above and things well, we don't even know well, about. Plus, like how close the clouds are, that's going to change the, the, you know, the diameter. There's a lot of variables at play. I don't think they can keep out all those 
all that uh, that good radiation coming in. The the oh, flower no. of life particles that are coming down. I really believe that those are coming in and then bouncing off the other side of. Well, I mean, any like we were saying, the, the proof is in the pudding. Look at this uh, spiritual revolution that's going on. Yeah. It's definitely coming through. I'm taking it. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> And I mentioned this before, and the more I kind of ponder on it and just allow that meditation to sit and cook, I've noticed that, you know, we've all discussed the star children and so forth, but I, I brought up somebody that, I, that I, I've known before, I knew her mother before she was born kind of thing. So 10 years later, I look at her and how smart she is and the understanding not all kids her age are that smart and aware and so forth, but I've noticed that, that some of these, uh, these, and I'm calling them blue star children because they were born under the blue star 10 years ago, the color of the sun had changed. They were born under that. They were, they, you know, they don't know what a yellow sun is. Yep. Okay. Think about it. I'm, I just have, like, well, just sat well, back and went, hmm, now what the hell does that really mean? Well, you know, and another thing with that, you know how a lot, I don't know what age, you know, group it starts at, but I know a lot of this younger generation, these younger kids are more spiritually evolved. What, what things that it's took us years to work for, they're already there. Yeah. I and, know. You know Wait, I wonder if it's because they were born under the blue sun. I'm, that, that, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just, there's a 10-year period I, because I know this child. Young, young woman. Oh my God. Oh, she's so, anyway, she's a hundred years old going on, you know, 11. Um, but, uh, um, there are other folks that I know in the same category and I'm, it's just speculation, but as far as me growing up or us, you know, me in the fifties and sixties, you know, Oh, talk about a yellow sun. You know, it is not the same outside for me now that it was back then, you know, I and went for the, the yellow crown too. <laughs> yeah. So, but these folks, at least 10 years ago, have not had any experience in yellow sun. The frequency to them is automatically different. And they right. were, they, uh, the pregnancy happened during the blue sun frequency as well. Did they get an upgrade? Oh, man. And, and people are saying why it's so the reason we're saying blue sun is because it has more of the blue light spectrum coming through. Yeah, and that's why we're calling it yellow. Like it a halogen appear. light bulb. Yeah. <laughs> Almost like an LED light. Ain't that yeah, weird? That's right. And that, that's not by, that's not by mistake. Mm -mm. Yeah. So. But the sun really is putting off that color. Now, yeah. kind of sort of to, about the sun simulator. I, I think the sun and the simulator both exist. Mm -hmm. And, yes. um, you know, because there are, we have good entities out there that are trying to keep this planet from getting nailed mm -hmm. and not necessarily from an asteroid, but from the cosmic energies hitting this planet that we've been warned about. We're seeing it. The Schumann residence was spiking again a, 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 just the last few hours ago, maybe, maybe 12 now, but um, but to, so to the point, we all know that the, you know, there are all these discussions about the magma, the earthquakes, things are happening and everybody can feel it, you know? Yeah. And another thing about this blue light spectrum coming through, you know, we're, we've already got all these floods and storms and stuff that's killing these crops. Well, when you are growing plants, a part of the photosynthesis is, it needs that red light spectrum to go into flowering to produce that fruit. Well, with this blue light sun, that's why everything's growing out of control, but it's not producing. It's not getting that red light spectrum. So these crop losses is going to get even worse. The UVC was what? At its max last summer, it was at a three, a four. Now I've seen it go up to 15, eight. Oh, it's Are you kidding me? Control. Yeah, it's, it's off the chain. It's just going in, in one year, one year. I drive On a cloudy day down here, I can check Tallahassee, Florida and Albany, Georgia, about the same distance north and south of me, roughly. And it'll be nine in Albany and 11 in Tallahassee on a semi-cloudy day. 
Yeah, it's it's like I said, it's uh, unfortunately it's only going to get worse. But you know, we're protected. We are protected. Yeah, definitely. I always look at it, no matter what I'm seeing in the sky, and you see the darkest looking uh, thing in the sky, and I will look at it and say, "You better start smiling." <laughs> and it will smile. And just, you got to keep everything at a higher frequency. Even in, well, go ahead. From, from I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. You didn't. You're okay. Thank you. Um, but the 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 me upstairs message is that all of these energies are changing us who were born under the yellow sun, and that you know be, because of all of the frequencies on the planet and around us, it's obvious they're here. To deny it is like, okay, go put your head in the sand or put a paper bag on. You know, don't not plastic, but you know. Anyway. Um, but uh, so for people to understand things, it is going on. Now, what happens, we have speculation, but if it's changing our DNA, because we were born under a yellow, you know, I was born under a yellow sun, um, then it's, it, that's why I got some aches and pains. I don't know where the hell they came from. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, there's a tiredness and every time I want to bitch about it, they go, you're healing, dude. Yeah. We can tell you it was gonna, you know, you older folks are gonna get, get hit hard. You know, Dave, you I've actually seen an evolution in you this week because uh, you kind of just surprised me when you was talking about the message just now, for, and you said from above. And you know, before, uh, and, and I, I'm I'm not saying, it, but I just want to say this is kind of how the programming works. I, I, I'm guilty of it all the time but you would say maybe mother Mary. And I think that was still part of that residual Catholic programming you went through. Uh, yes, but I want, from my own standpoint, I know who mother Mary means to me. And, she right. means but, and that's, what I, mean. <laughs> that's, right. that's yes, what I mean. Yes. I did meet her in the Catholic religion, but she told me to leave the Catholic religion. So <laughs> it's like, you know, well, boy, you took a left wow. turn. But I realized I was pushing some buttons that I really didn't need to push. Well, you know what? Maybe and, and pushing those a, buttons is a good thing. Um, but maybe it'll help those that had a problem with it to start to grow. And see, I, I believe that all these things are, are working together for the collective consciousness to raise. And even those issues that people had with you in talking about that, saying that you were misinterpreting it when you were simply talking about what you see and what you perceive but they took it and said you didn't you weren't right about this you weren't right about that but maybe exactly. that's helping them in the long run to grow but the thing is is my mother mary messages come through she don't speak to me directly it's like an email that comes in through my own spirit guide right. but it has her essence it's almost like a perfume yeah. And in, in in a spiritual way. So she's not like stopping what she's doing to have conversation with me. Yeah. So I, I'm, you know, some folks would say, oh, he's having, no, I'm, I'm in touch with my own spirit guide, my own I guardian. Think it's angel. more of your higher self. Yes. What it, see there again, names, names, names. Yeah, it's, it's all terminology. Yeah. No, but no. I know it. I know it's my guy, gal, person up yonder. Yes. All that matters is you have the connection. It don't matter what the hell it is. Yeah, I'm talking to I'm connect. talking to a rocket raccoon all the time. That is my heart. <laughs> I love that guy. He cusses and everything. It's like, what are you doing? No, Bullwinkle. <laughs> but it, it is. It's whatever our, I mean, my spirit. It's that converse, Dave, we were talking about that earlier. That conversation that we used to have. And people would say, you're talking to yourself, you're freaking crazy. Well, that conversation is, is stopped so being fun. a conversation about things that I could have, should have, would have done in a situation. And they, they're starting, to, it's turned into this conversation that I'm having with higher self when I have questions about something and you let it come in, flow into you. It's not just, oh, I could have done this. My ego could have reacted this way. It's changed completely. Bing, 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 bing. So you said ego. We got a winner. Yeah. That's what it's all about. And honestly, it all down to. You know, to, to bring this whole conversation back about the truth, this all base, is based, uh, based on truth. Now, I talked about the three things out in 
I know is, you know, I've seen that. Some other people have verified it when I listen in, you know, I go, well, that's interesting. So, but, but to the point about what you know is real or what you wish to believe is real, yeah. understand that religion, any religion, any book you read is just a vehicle to your spirituality. You need a car to get there. And some people choose this one. Some people choose sure. that one. It doesn't matter. What is your intent? If yep. your intent is to be a better spiritual being, let that be your primary intent. And everything else, you know, but keep, you know, keep that focus. Because yeah, use whatever they... tool you need, but don't just sit there and dwell on it. Like, use those tools that you need, let it go, move it on. Yes. Yeah. Because you'll end up on like down and up where you're at too brian well you both brian's you're down there in, a, in the south but you got more sugar sand down there but up here with this georgia clay when it rains good rain and you got to go down a, a clay road buddy you're in for a ride you know we, i went to school in tuscaloosa so i know about that and clay. Gliding and gliding <laughs> and, you know but um, so when I use the frame, keep it between the ditches, I'm thinking of, you know, a rainstorm and you're trying to get to the house kind of deal on a slick country road. But, um, but spiritually, people get stuck and just spin their wheels. And it's like, yep. And it's like, and, you know, and maybe, the, maybe their vehicle is changing left and right a little bit. So it looks like they're actually moving. I don't know. But it, and sometimes I think it's a perpetual motion machine. Um, yes. that they're creating so but the truth of the thing is is to look inside yourself nobody's got the answer for you but we can all help each other find our own answers yes because we all do have our own answers yeah and, but we, and because we're all connected our answers can be very similar but they're personal to each one of us yeah yeah that's kind of even even twins are different at some point yeah. You know, that's, kind of, that's kind of like on, in the beginning, I was like, well, how do I meditate? You know, and, and no you one person can sit there, right? how do you astral travel? You, you listen to all these versions of it and everybody's got a different way to do it. That's because everybody, you've got to find your own path to do it. Yep. You've got to find it. And it's different for everybody. See how we're bringing this back around? <laughs> and it all is about truth because if you're honest, and like, for example, if you if you think you got a connection um, with your spirit guide, or I'll just hold it there, um, and that um, or your higher self, then ask your higher self, give me a little test so I know it's you. And so for me, it's been finding deer antlers. And when I was the, I did a video about the, the all the orbs and things that I did out on the lake that one night. Well, I went out on the lake and That's early awesome. in the morning as I was coming back, I was gifted to um, two feathers. One of them is sitting right here, but from um, from the local uh, egret there. And uh, but the thing is, is I had to go get him if I followed directions. And it was like a little, oh, it's right over there. OK, you just have to listen to your gut. Mm -hmm. So but if you want to find out whether, you know, ask your spirit self give me a little and because i've been chatting with some folks and they've had some um interesting experiences and i'm thinking to uh, to to say this that their connection to their higher self is getting stronger because now they're kind of following their instinct which is the higher self that is yep. that, that feeling and people need to test yourself on it and, if, and you know it might be the simplest thing well, wait a minute, there's a feather over there. Did you take two steps to the right where you would have turned left, And but there was a feather on the ground? Those things are rewards. And you can look around you and you may be being rewarded for your good efforts, but you're not paying attention to it. And, so, be, and be careful not to fall into the pitfall of getting frustrated with yourself when things aren't working out. That right there, that frequency will stop everything from happening. I, mean, I used to beat myself up. Oh, I used to do the same thing. Finally, said, yeah. you know what? Screw it. I'm done being frustrated about that. And then the things, then things started really kicking into high gear. And I just let it happen organically in its time that it's supposed to happen for you. It's yep. different for everybody. Don't feel like you're like get behind the curve, you know, at the, at the lower end of the, 
the curve. Just do it in your time. Let it happen organically and flow. And not all of the same experiences are going to happen to everybody because we're all here for, you know, some certain things. So your path may be way different than mine. Yeah. That's what Rocket our, keeps telling me. <laughs> and, our, uh, and our previous lives have a lot to do with it. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Has everything to do with it. Whoever we were, and we were talking about this, uh, and I think it bears, they're telling me, you know, bring this back around. Being honest, you know, um, people need to stop and look at, the, at where they are spiritually and say, am I hung up on this too much? Am I spending too much time on this? And, and it's not, to, not that it's not a good thing or whatever, but sometimes you can put your focus so much in one area, you, you get off track. You're not, you know, you're not absorbed from the, from the whole, if you will. So um, in this time, it's, it's good to be channeled over here. I hate to use the word channel, but fo focused over here or focused over there. But spiritually speaking, we've got to be honest and go, maybe I'm spending a little bit too time, much time on this. Maybe it's the words like archons. Maybe it's this. or may Are you spent focused too much on that? And are you missing everything else? You can, uh, you know, I can't answer that, but f folks need to be tr truthful to themselves. See how I brought that around? Yep. Truthful and honest to themselves. You know, it's kind, of funny that we had, it's kind of funny we had two similar points tonight. Two of the points I was going to make, you ended up talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and people are talking in the chat about why they haven't been chemtrolling lately. Because if, and I, I see I'm still programmed to say chemtrail. Aerosol injection is, because if they did, it would literally be 130, 140 degrees outside. The, the, I want to bring this up. A friend of mine, Shauna, uh, sent me a, a video of a guy saying that the president has stopped this and that. And That's I, bullshit. I, I have bullshit. I, you know, yeah. I see that as, and all the people that are making comments like, yes, there are always those people that don't have a picture within their thing. You go to their account. This heat's no already there. getting trapped in. If they did that, it literally, like I said, it would be 130, 140 degrees. We, people would be dying, dropping dead in the streets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <There'd> be, <laughs> I mean, be, always go to your, your meditation or your, your prayer, meditation, whatever you want to call it. Go to that and, and, and just discern. Everything that you're seeing. Let me point something out. As an old timer here at 67, I look back on my life and go, we just called it heat waves. <laughs> <laughs> we just called it floods. I like I said, a lot of put a name on everything. They want people terrified. Yes. And the level of that terror is the illusion they wish to push on us. Bingo. That's called loose. Yes, it's happening. But I mean, there were floods when I was a kid in the fit, late 50s and 60s. Okay. We had a snowstorm in Dayton uh, the night we left to come to, to move to Florida. And the snow was drifted up to the bottom of the windowsill between the houses on the second story. You know, so uh, we left, you know, the frigid Dayton in the north. You know, oh, my God, no. But to the point, though, we've always had nasty storms and weathers and things. Now, have they intensified? I got to say, yeah. But so has our atmosphere has changed. Not just the, the trails and other clouds and things, but it's been condensed. Oh, yeah. It's not as thick as it used to be. That's because of the collapsing magnetosphere. Well, and, and about 2004, 5, 6, 7, we had a big solar storm that ripped off the ozone layer. Yep. You can go, you can check back and say, ozone, ozone. They stopped talking about it because it be got wiped off. And our, so our atmosphere has been compressing mm -hmm. and that is creating a it lot of hotter temperatures, but they're not any hotter than when I was growing up. I mean, it, it's all just a part of the cycle of earth. Yeah. I mean, we live on top of the damn thing. Get used to it. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're going to take some hits every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> David, you know, I'm, I just, I'm looking at your picture. I'm not trying to change the subject. You've got so much activity going on in your house, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm seeing things that just, I mean, I don't know if it's an old camera, if you got a filter on there. there. 
But you see that, Brian, back there behind that? That's flipping up and down? Yeah, the hallway. It's like another feather back there? Yeah, I see. No, I'm not talking about that. That's from his fan. Someone already asked that question. I'm talking over there behind those bars you got there. I'm just seeing lots of... I see, uh, yeah, I see a little orb-like white dot pop up every now and then. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all around us, dude. It's pure energy, and it's a beautiful thing. It is. But <laughs> start soaking it in. Every and inch is things, filled up, baby. Like for me, it's like, so how, you know, somebody asked me a question uh, a couple of weeks ago. How did these things come to you? And it's, they're already there. It, but is your frequency such that they want to be, you know, I don't want to be around that negative asshole. Sorry, but nah, stand away. So when you change your energy mm -hmm. and your frequency changes, then they like want to hang around you. you know, They're hanging I mean, around you, brother. <laughs> can you blame them? <laughs> well, guys, y'all got any uh, last words before we wrap her up? Of course, an hour is flown by. Stay this has been a good conversation. I had a good time now. I, I did too. Glad. Thanks for asking. Me three. Yeah. Let's do this more often. I Got just want three sons. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say uh, blessings to all of you. Um, keep the faith. Keep your core value. If you and be honest with yourself, or have you strayed off of the your original path? Are you spending too much air? Not that you sh should give it up, but are you spending too much time? And we, because right now we need, uh, we need our own inner, inner energy to be strong. Because these energies are coming in, throwing us all around and tossing us all around. I don't want to be half out of my canoe and a big wave, wave hit, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> Dad, but don't, bro. don't kick yourself. Don't beat yourself up for uh, growing at your own pace. If uh, you I made a mistake, it. just uh, say, own it, man, and move on. That's right. Yeah. That just means you're growing up. Oh, one, can I say what I'm asking me to say? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, all right. This is, is that, um, and, and it ties into what we were, you were discussing before. Um, be very careful when you, for, with what you expect to happen. And Brian Lunsford, yes. you brought it up. You know, we think, well, we're in a situation and I want it to go like this. Maybe that ain't how it is. And you brought it up, Brian, in that it, you have to take it's more organic. And people are expecting something, and when they don't get what it, they think the they way. should get or how it should go, that changes their frequency. It changes the outcome of things. It could actually turn out crappier than if you kind of went with the flow. So, but anyway, I, they, they, Spirit says we, that needed a little extra oomph on that one. Yeah. Right on. Well, thank you for sharing. Be thank the you. Frequency you want to receive, huh? <laughs> Be the frequency you want to receive. Absolutely. Said it, baby. <laughs> hey, I've got a jam-packed week this week. Tomorrow night, I've got uh, Ryan, SK, and Kent going to be joining me. So that should be a good conversation. Friday night. Hell, I can't remember right now. Then Saturday, Kent and Trina. Then Sunday night, Rocker Chick. Can't look. Can't Can I say? Remember. I want to say one more thing before you jump off. My, I'm about to have my first grandbaby. My uh, son, they're they scratched her mucus plug, and so they're. That's you getting ready to happen. I'm getting ready to be a father, <laughs> but I want to speak that. I want to speak favor over them and this birth and everything. I, I just want there to be abundance for for Tyler. You guys, I love you, and I'm excited. I'm just so excited about. It. Well, congratulations. That's right. Well, send prayers your way and the child okay. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Absolutely. You got a lot of love here because we ain't nothing but family. Well, Y'all yeah. hang with me right here, folks. Thank you once again. Y'all truly are my soul family. I love you all. Be the frequency you want to receive. Have a good night. Love you. That was an awesome show, fellas. I truly did like that. I had fun. It was fluid. It was organic. It did <laughs> <laughs> Dave, like I said, you, you freak, well, it didn't freak me out. Like I said, I'm about used to it at this point. But like you, you start talking, I was like, that's exactly what I was going to talk about. That's exactly <laughs> what I was going to talk about. Oh, man. I, they want to come visit your house for a little bit. <laughs> you, you've got so much. Happening. I'm hoping me and Kent's going to make it down there here in a couple of weeks. 
Well, you, if you're going to go to him, you might as well come all the well, way. Well, I mean, that's part of the plan. Okay. Cool. I'm pretty much in charge of where we're going on the south side. <laughs> so. You're seriously thinking about coming this far down? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're going all the way across the freaking United States. So, yeah. You going to Washington? Well, I'm south, not across. I know we're at least going to California. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you're going that far, you might as well. Yeah, we're going, I know, to Sedona and as of right now, Trina, uh, and then we're going up to uh, Mount Shasta. <laughs> I want to go to the Redwood Forest. I've got to go to the Redwood Forest. Oh, That's man. That's where I want to go. I've Something's been there. They there. are so freaking awesome. You feel like an ant. Something's I mean, called there, dude. I'm telling you, I'm being called there. The ferns are over your head. I mean, yeah. I felt like a hobbit, Okay. <laughs> I mean, honest to God, I, I expected, you know, Paul, was it Paul Bunyan? The big, you know, the, yeah, yeah okay. I, I expected him to come around a tree any minute, you know. Oh, my God, they're, it's unbelievable. You know, Brian Carr gave me permission to go. Oh, yeah, I got Grey Wolf on Friday night. Oh, did she? She did. That's a big thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you're going to honestly head this direction, then uh, um, I, I wish you'd have enough time to, for me to take you out and, and show you some river. Or coffee would be fine. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm down for whatever, dude. I mean, I love getting out in nature and stuff like that. You're right up my alley doing shit like that. Y'all come down here to the golf and let's go I want to when I do these road trips, I want to experience things. I don't want to sit in a fucking house and shit like that. We're out to experience things. Look at all that shit. Oh, you're smoking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I just lit a cigarette. I was like, I saw Brian doing it. Okay, well, go ahead. Yeah. I'm cheating, man. This is just for shows. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know how I told you that my cam bud dude got hooked on meth and now I couldn't get bud no more? Yeah. Finally, I found me an old uh, an old redneck hippie dude, and man, I'm telling you what, he has been hooking me up with the freaking fire for like cheap prices too, because it's just homegrown around here, man. But it's some fire, dude. I'm talking about you. Can get this <laughs> I shit can't do time. that shit. I did CBD. But I cannot do that shit. It makes me so paranoid. Oh, dude, it's the only thing that helps me keep my sanity. Truly, like like I said, I it, it. I past couple of days I've needed. Like I said, man. I, I don't, I, man, I meant to say something. I wanted to say something about the phone thing. I forgot all about it. I got to say that tomorrow night because, you know, I mean, people don't know until I say oh. something. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, Just tell them to remote view you. See if you're sleeping. Well, I mean, no, I mean, <laughs> if you want to text me, that's fine. But like I said, you know, try keep keep it in one text. Don't send me five texts with emojis and shit. That like, because not smoke. You know, if I've got 10 people doing that, that's 50 texts I get. And literally, I have more than that texting me. So you see what I'm saying? Like, that's 50 texts I get in a matter of an hour. It yeah. drives me fucking nuts. I, I see that. <laughs> Brian, you're going to have to work on that one. Yeah, no, I think that comes with the, that's It's something that I need to work on. That's, that's like me with my dog. <laughs> yeah, it's something I need to work on internally. Yeah. I just got to figure out what it is. <laughs> That It'll unconditional present. love works. Oh, no, I know. I know. <laughs> It'll be yeah. all right. And I would uh, Brian, how, cl how close are you to the ocean? Oh, uh, right here. On it. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, five, uh, maybe 50 steps. I'm right here on the sound side, is what they call it. Where I'm on the sound. There's a barrier island in between me and the Gulf. Right. I've got the sound that runs. You're on the bay I side. I, yeah, you didn't know sound, that, sound side. We call you it didn't sound. Know that was the uh, he's an heir to the Lunsford uh, uh, fortune, of course. And I'm Jewish. Know. He's an heir. Who? Brian, you? Yeah, of course. I'm also Living Jewish. On the ocean and shit. <laughs> Got <do>. Yeah. <laughs> My rent is thirteen hundred dollars, and the landlord doesn't fix shit. <laughs> My AC was out yesterday. That thing got up to 90 degrees. And then I, I, I am not mechanically inclined, guys. I'm telling you. And I laid down. I'm like, how can I fix this? And I got it distinctly. Go out and look at it. And I went out to the outside. You know, I looked at it. There's a piece of metal sitting sideways. I 
turn the power off first. That's smart to do, by the way. Good idea. I grabbed the metal. I bent it. I put it back down. I created a connection, and the damn thing kicked back on. Hey, Ryan, do you know how to say <laughs> Robert Vopalak or Vopalak? Do you know who I'm talking about? You see in chat, Robert Vopalak or Vopalak, V-O-P-E-L-A-K. How do you say that? Robert. Vopalak. Depends on what country you're from. Uh, V-O-P-E-L-A-K. I don't know. But anyway, I forgot, man. He donated $50 and I meant to say something. Fuck. Oh, just get, wow. it, get it off tomorrow. Yeah, I've got the next two months of Zoom coverage. So, like, that you don't know how much that stress that causes me, dude. Wondering how I'm going to pay for Zoom, like, and I think that's why I'm so like more carefree on my shows because I ain't stressing about that shit. You <laughs> Brian, you don't ever have to worry about it again. You don't. I'd let it go. Dude, I just... I'd be honest with you. I'm fi finally figuring that out. It might be the last day before I need it, but most time, dude, it usually does work itself out. And if it doesn't. You get to take a couple days off, and there's a reason behind <laughs> right. it. That's like my daughter getting in that accident and totaling that brand new car we got her. I tell her there's a reason that happened. I didn't know that. Well, yeah. Well, she was in a school parking lot. She just flopped and drove into to somebody because you know how teenagers are, and it totaled that new car. And then, oh man! And, and so she's out of a car. She's kicking herself all the time. I'm like, Lindley, the re there's a reason you didn't. You got into that wreck, and that car is totaled. You could have been in a major. I don't like speaking that, but that those timelines are real. Of course, she yeah. thinks that that's all crazy. Could have saved your life one day. That's right. There's always a reason for stuff. Happening. Could have saved your life this that time. That's right. Absolutely. That's right. So we put her on our insurance. And now we're down to one car for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be a little ease. <laughs> I walked to Walmart twice today. <laughs> Redneck style. Good old world. Oh, you actually got to exercise. <laughs> yeah. I went up in someone's attic and emptied it all out today and helped them by putting the new stuff in. I've been in an attic all day. I'm, I'm telling you, I lost one. I got to jump off here, guys. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm I got to run too. I, I love you, you both, man. Like I said, hell, uh, you know, I hadn't worked out a schedule next week. If y'all want to do something else again, I had a good time tonight. We'd roll something else next week. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Get me down. Uh, just, I'll be in touch. Let me know ahead of time so I don't miss you like this last time. I, I started texting like three days in ahead of time. That's early for me. <laughs> I, I need you to go ahead and get in touch with my agent, and we will work it out. It'll probably be, <laughs> it'll probably be next Tuesday or Wednesday again. Okay. Uh, but I, honestly, I only got.